Let's talk about the worst movies of 2018. What's up everybody? Today I'm here to give you my list of the worst films of 2018. Now this is obviously my opinion. Those are films that either made me mad or made me really frustrated and angry or or basically were movies that I just hated it. Starting with number five, I have Solo, A Star Wars Story. You suck! Now, if you have been around my channel, you know I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I love the characters and Han Solo, it's one of my favorite characters. There was a lot of mystery surrounding Han Solo and I think that the movie Solo A Star Wars Story was a complete disaster. It not only bombed at the box office, some say that it was because of The Last Jedi, some others say it's because it came out too soon. I just, in my opinion, it's because the movie was not that great and word of mouth is very powerful. You know, people really enjoy something, they're always trying to convince others to go and watch the film. I think that Solo did not uh, bring anything to the character of Solo. In fact, it made Solo not look as cool like he looked in the original trilogy, for instance. I really hated a, a lot of things about that film. I thought the movie was going to be about, you know, Han Solo in an adventure with Chewie and how they met and it was going to be focusing mostly on that but the entire film Han Solo was pretty much running after Kira everything was about Kira we never really learned anything that we actually needed to know about Han Solo I don't think that the movie added anything to the saga it was a very frustrating film for me even though it had nice moment it had some good visuals I still expect more of my Star Wars films I really want to engage with the characters and a lot of the characters were just dying here and there and we we didn't even get to know or learn anything about them. It was a, a movie that it really fell short for me. I also hated L7 or L3. You suck! whatever her name is. I just thought she was extremely annoying, that robot. It was a movie that to me after The Last Jedi was the second biggest disappointment from Disney and I know that a lot of people enjoy the film, elements of the film, but it did not work for me at all. Number four, Holmes and Watson. Oh my god, I don't even know what to tell you about this film. Uh, but just to tell you, don't go watch it. You know, this is a movie that it made headlines because people are walking out the movie theaters. That's how bad this film is. It's in really poor taste, terrible jokes. Uh, I, I don't even know what to tell you about this film, but seriously, uh, the only reason you would want to watch it is if you really, 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 but really love Will Ferrell. Other than that, this movie is a waste of time. It's terrible, horrible jokes. It's just like weird faces here and there. Oh, it was just bleh. And number three, Fifty Shades Free. Now this movie, is the third installment of the trilogy you would call it of the Fifty Shades uh, films and oh my goodness this is just it's a terrible terrible film the story doesn't make any sense the characters are just terrible it's just ugh you know, I have this one friend, she begged me to go watch this movie with her and I told her this movie is going to be terrible uh, and it was indeed awful, you know. Awful, awful, awful. Definitely one of the worst films of 2018. And number two, A Wrinkle in Time. Now this movie, if you watched my review way back, uh, I, I started off my review by saying A Wrinkle in Time is a waste of time because the movie was so boring. The costumes were terrible, the acting was terrible, the characters didn't make sense, uh, the movie was disjointed. Now I do enjoy Ava DuVernay but I really did not think that she delivered in this film. I thought that a lot of the shots of the film were really weird as well. I didn't enjoy the cinematography, I didn't enjoy the visual effects, I did not enjoy the characters. I, this is a movie that I almost walked out of the theater, I had never done that but it was terrible. 
really really bad I know this is an adaptation from a book and people tell me the book is really good I've never read the book but I could tell you that the movie was terrible and audiences in general tend to agree with me because the score for this film is also really low people did not it did not get good reviews from critics as well as uh, the audience and number one the movie that made me really mad this year a movie that I hated I thought it sucked so bad especially because I'm a fan and you know if you are a fan of something and then you go watch the movie and the movie is terrible it sucks even more uh, and the movie is The Predator you suck <laughs> I love the character. Uh, I think the original Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of the best action films I have ever seen and I've been in love with the Predator ever since but after that all the movies were kind of B-movies. They're not really great. They can't get the character right and this last movie called The Predator was the worst movie I've seen this year mostly because I deeply care for the character I really love and I wanted to see a good film and I thought this movie was so frustrating to watch because and Predator is supposed to be a film that is thrilling it's supposed to make you scared for your life but this film again tried to be sort of like Marvel bring so much humor even though when people are dying here and there uh, there's humor that is really uh, kind of breaking the tension oh my goodness there were like a uh, mega predator it was just Oh, this was terrible it was terrible I was so disappointed when I left the theater I didn't know uh, if I would laugh or cry about this film because it was it was such a disaster this movie sucks I have a review if you want to check out my frustration and how much I hated this film because again I really enjoyed this character I think there's just so much that you can do with Predator but they can't get this movie right and uh, definitely this movie earned the top worst film of the year for me but that's it guys that's my list for the worst movies of 2018 uh these were the films that i really really did not work for me movies that really frustrated me or made me really mad but i would love to hear your opinion drop a comment below what were the worst movies you've seen in 2018 let's talk about it i'd love to hear your thoughts and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more and i'll see you next time bye